Uh, hey guys, how you doing? Uh, we're live here on Jokers on Duty. So anyhow, how is everybody doing today? Ooh, that's good. Let's stay up there. I might be on the wrong shoulder, but oh well. Um, but again, I'm going to sit it like that for now. And uh, so how is everybody doing? It's Thanksgiving Monday. And like I said, guys, it is a couple new uh, gadgets uh, for our Skeletor, Johnny Cash Skeletor uh, Dick Tracy costume for Halloween night. So again, uh, again, I bought the, these off of a friend of mine for ten bucks, and uh, I got again, I got three uh, what you call duplicates. They're basically what they're they're, they're not the real heavy um, what you call leather ones that you can get for like three hundred dollars at the wrestling store, but. Uh, my friend of mine, he sold me these for like like ten bucks for all three of them. Really, really cool, uh, and that kind of stuff. So, so again, there is this one, and uh, and that. So again, I got that one, and uh, and then I got the other two. At, uh, that one. Excuse me, I, uh, my shoulder is way too small. And uh, so anyhow, and there is also this one as well. And this one here, guys, is the actual spinner. Uh, this one here spins. And this one here. So that is really, really, really cool. And... Um, And see, you can tell this one kind of, kind of has a spin. So it's it's kind of like this. Remember when I was a kid, uh, I used to have all the wrestling ring. I used to have the actual wrestling ring and all the little wrestlers and that kind of stuff as well. Maybe I'll put Christmas lights around these ones. No, just kidding. Um, uh, excuse me. So again, that's what that one looks like, and. Uh, so again, you guys can see that one there. And then you guys see oh you've seen that one, so that's that is really cool. So I'm gonna put those there for now and uh now, for some reason, my thing's working on this one now, but it is not working as good on my camera. T uh, camera my camera two is not work functioning. So, again, like I said, my phone for some reason is not now not picking up. Um, so I was gonna go with my um, my Skeletor character. And uh, and my Skeletor, Dick Tracy, Johnny Cash, slash Midnight Blue, WE. <laughs> so again, kind of kind of add some some characteristics, comic to it for Halloween night. And uh, so hey, how guys? We are gonna send some invites in, and uh, kind of see if he is home and he's taking his meds. And. So yeah, we send the invites out, and uh, so, and uh, excuse me. Like I said, guys, cam our camera two is not uh, not working today. Um, I gotta figure out what uh, why it is down. Uh, my mobile live uh, is down, but uh, like I said, my laptop is working. No problem. Better now. It's not even freezing. 
Um, I guess uh, Halloween's going to be kind of hard, guys, uh, for the big Halloween walk out there. But I can't pick up on my live live stream, I guess, on my on my mobile. But uh, you know, it's uh, it is a shame. So, but eventually, like I said, we'll be able to. Um, At least I can do it by YouTube, guys. I can still do it. Uh, I'll just do. I'll just use. I'll just go by. I'll just go on YouTube Live, and uh, that then that, that that'll be different for the outside themes. And then in, in here we're going to be uh, going to be on basically on the computer. So kind of uh, kind of rotate the computer part around if we have to. That is okay. Uh. And uh, that so again, this was just just a quick check in, and uh, you can tell I got my New Year's photo up there as well. And uh, so remember, stay guys. Uh, Christmas show start. Uh, uh, Christmas shows actually will start up in November, and starting with Remembrance Day, and then going into Christmas. So. Um, we're just basically just getting, uh, just kind of, kind of, kind of. We got uh, just finishing up Thanksgiving now, and then we've got, uh, and then, and then we got Halloween on the roll, um, coming in after. So, and uh, I saw left his hat behind again. So again, we're just seeing how the phone here is working, and for some reason, we're hope I didn't lose the setting. Possibility. I hope I did not. Probably so far advanced.
But again, we'll just tell you about that. We'll just see if we can pick up our live on here. Oh, it looks like we're looking at YouTube. Oh well, K number two mobile is not working. And that's how I use my usually my outside ones is my mobile. Ah, there we go. Okay, yes, we do got it working. So I'm gonna put you on twice. And Again, we've got no sound. Ah, there we go, guys. So just in case you guys didn't get a chance to see these on the other camera, we've got... Make it like the gypsy rover. <laughs> just kidding. Uh-oh. So again, like there's a shoulder one. Again, there's there's this one. So you guys can see. Ooh, heavy suckers. I'm not that heavy, I'm just, uh, can't wait till I buy the real ones. And then there's that one there as well. Again, again, we just had to boost the second line, but that is okay. So that way you guys can actually see them here. And our skeleton, but skeleton, skeleton, Dick Tracy dude, and Johnny Cash skeleton, Dick Tracy dude, and W Dude or whatever. Now, 
is really one of these the two of these on the panel tonight. So we're back and uh So, and that, and I'm uh, still trying to see if we meet up with the loop with Buzzsaw right here in a minute. Now, I'm trying to find out how to figure out how you put the we did that uh, beginning title uh, logo Facebook Live. <laughs> uh, never got that yet for my live stream. I'm uh, just curious where people actually get that from. Because um, it'd be cool for the opening of my streams, anyways. Um, but. So yeah, so um, just wanted to show you those. We're gonna add that into the costume character. So a couple night at night, there'll be a couple shows where he'll be on here. Oh, I'll be dressed up as him, and uh, it'll be quite cool. And uh, especially uh, around Halloween night, we're gonna be out for a walk and that kind of thing as well. And. Um, so then, we, then we'll do live. We'll actually take you live when we get up here closer to uh, Tim Hortons. So that'd be really, really cool. Now, usually some parts of Wyerton, guys, it gets really, really what you call really dark out there, and uh, that kind of thing as well. And uh, so that is that is going to be quite cool. Last night we had a bit of a comedy session. Um, my cat wouldn't leave my web webcam alone. Um, I like taking it off my computer, everything, and thank goodness he's sleeping night now. Excuse me, pops backing up, and uh, and that today. Well, I kind of had a kind of stopped up, uh, stuff at Timmy's for some chili and uh, and coffee, so that was kind of good. And uh, had my lunch, so that was kind of cool, and um. But suffer left this fedora here, <laughs> uh, and uh, he guess he was in a hurry, but he's gonna come back again to pick it up. Um, but that uh, is okay. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow is finally Tuesday, and uh, then Wednesday, and then there's Thursday to back to the weekend again. <sighs> Uh, uh, 
so um so that'd be kind of <coughs> excuse me And uh, just wait for some more followers a bit. Uh, also, two guys today is the, is also Thanksgiving Monday, and uh, everything's closed today except for Tim Hortons and Foodland. Um, but it is like I said, it is quite interesting because a lot of people I know have to work <laughs> today. Um, that so it's gonna be like a relaxed day and I think I'm gonna go watch uh tonight uh, since now I've got all four seasons to uh to uh, I got all I got all I don't have all the Sleepy Hollow movies yet but I do have all four seasons to the TV show of Sleepy Hollow and uh, the movies, I'm working on buying bit by bit, and because uh, some of them have to be some of the the uh, Sleepy Hollow version movies that go with the collection. Uh, to the movie end, the actual movie of it, there's different versions of. It. So I gotta I gotta go buy a bit by bit. So so that'd be that'd be quite cool, and then that, and then it fits into one big collection. So again, I guess I've got the. Uh, I got all four seasons out of the TV seasons with the whole. And uh, so anyhow, the Buzzsaw Show is looking pretty good. Um, he is going to go to the Buzzsaw Show. Um, and uh, Dead uh, Water. What was it? Dead cops are walking. <laughs> Something like that. Um So he, he's gonna be uh, so he he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna oh he's gonna uh, do what I do too with uh with a bit of the bit of the, the actual reality costume part of the show. Uh without having to rely on the icons, but and that kind of thing as well, but um, I want to see if we got any more on here. Um, so again, like I said, we've got. And And that so 
And so that is pretty good. Again, also just straightening out and uh, get, get everything all cleaned up. And then I gotta go fix what the cat jumped on stuff. And then after Halloween is the uh, uh, once I start buying some tape and that kind of stuff, then we're gonna start doing the wrapping paper on the doors. Uh, I checked out the pumpkins that I was actually going to buy and. Um, they uh, are going to going to buy and uh, uh, and that can they had kind of kind of green mold on them, but ah, the, uh, we're connected with the Buzzsaw show. Let's see if he comes in. We'll see if he comes on. Five sad shows take a little time to come on. Okay, I can't bring Cody on, but he's not on his live stream. So, um, for some reason it's not connected, but that is okay. Um, uh, Yeah, and I got over here too. And uh, so, anyways, hi Cody, how you doing? You left your hat here, by the way. Uh, your your blue fedora. So <laughs> I have to go back and get it. Um. So so again, that's that, that's okay. Um. I'm just waiting to see if we got any more coming in. And. So anyways, later, probably later tonight, guys, we'll have, uh, we'll probably be, probably bring on Mr. Skeletor again, um, under the big lights, and, uh, so we'll bring him on again, and Mr. Skeletor, slash Johnny Cash, Dick Tracy, little touch of the Blue, and, um, and that, just in the facial eyes, and, um, and with a little bit of the add-ons, so, uh, again, we'll probably bring them on tonight for a bit, and uh, so that way you guys can actually get see them again. A couple times, uh, also to Halloween night, guys, probably double night, uh, considering what the weather's going to be like. Now, if the weather it gets it gets too bad, I am not going out anywhere. Um, Hopefully we have good weather for Halloween night, guys. So that way we can have Mr. Skeletor Dick Tracy guy here go out for the walk and go, and go live on Facebook. And um, and that, I'll make sure I've got, a, got my battery pack on for all that as well. And uh, so that'd be kind of cool. And maybe this time, uh, because I'm outside, because it gets windy, I may have to actually strap down, strap my sunshades on with a rope. But that is okay. And, uh... So that's what that's going to look like. And, uh... Maybe I'm thinking about guys uh, keeping uh, keeping the character uh, on here all 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 year round. I guess um, 
make it quite interesting like most of the other live streams do. Um, and that, so, so again, it is like, like how the character is. Um, unless I can find a rubber clown mask somewhere, um, won't find them right now anyways because of the, the being banned from shows. Um, maybe the either thrift store or whatever, you might see one floating around. Um, a couple floating around, but, uh, I gotta say, Mr. 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 Skeletor guy, he's good enough. Uh, you know, he's he's probably funny looking enough. Uh, we'll probably start bringing him on all year round instead of just for Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth. Especially guys too, right? When we come into the to, to, to the months to have Friday the Thirteenth, guys, uh, we will uh, we will have him on here as well. <coughs> now, guys, but his cost, the rest of his costume, guys will change. Uh, Halloween, he's got a bit of a... Um, uh, like I said, for Halloween, guys, he has a bit of a Johnny Cash look uh, with the black suit, the Dick Tracy look. Um, we, like, we kind of we kind of gonna keep the... Uh, we are, by, for Christmas, I think, uh, we're going to dress him up differently. Um, so, so I think, I think, I think uh, for, for Christmas... Uh, my my back my back or my badge thing will go probably come off and probably go off the fedora and actually onto my uh, Santa Claus hat. So again, like I said, that will probably will uh, will probably change. We'll try to change him his looks around at least for Christmas. So make him look like him Christmas out Christmas time. So so again, guys. So so the character will still be on here. Uh, like I said, but it, it is, but Halloween, guys, he's more in black than anything, black and gray, and that kind of one, so he's more of like a more of a Johnny Cash to Tracy look. Um, so, so again, like I said, it's, uh, so Christmas time, guys, he's gonna have like a Christmas Santa Claus look. So, uh, and I think, uh, yeah, I think Valentine's, uh, Valentine's Day, guys, he's, He's going to. He's. He's going to have again. He's going to have a little bit of tone there look as well. A little bit like Christmassy. Um, Canada Day, guys, and definitely he's going to be all full in red uh, from head to toe when it comes down to Canada Day. Um, so, so again, so he's going to be. Uh, and then New Year's, guys. Uh, he's going to be. He's going to be like like in New Year's colors. So uh, again. We're gonna be dressed like we were last year um, for New Year's, but then I guess he's gonna have like again New Year's. He's gonna have a cool New Year's look to him. Uh, so again, he's gonna have um, you know you know kind of for New Year's Eve. He's gonna have like a New Year's Eve hat on his head. Uh, he's gonna have he's gonna have the red bow tie on white shirt. Um, if I can if I can find my white red sweater, he'll be in that red vest sw sweater. Uh, so so again, or he could be in the purple uh, Joker shirt. So he could be in anything. Uh, so again, the character districts of guys is gonna change around. So so again, we're gonna change him around per season. So that way, you kind of make him funny and interesting. So Halloween guys, he's got more of a Christmas look. Now remember to stay, guys. If if he is on, remember to stay night or whatever. Uh, I think he's gonna have a bit of an army look to him. So uh, I think I think he's gonna be in like in a green army shirt and uh, and that kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of stuff like that with kind of a camouflage hat. Um, so again, we're gonna make him look look kind of armyish, veteranish. So um, so again, so again, we're gonna keep the character on here for you, for you guys, for uh, anyhow, for Joker's on duty, kind of. Kind of, kind of, uh, kind of make it uh, make 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 the show a little bit more interesting. Just like you have Relic the Clown, he comes on all year round um, with his character, the guy that does Relic the Clown and uh, the Relic Army. So he comes on with his character all kind of all year round. So he, he, it's kind of, so he has that he that he doesn't have that character just for Halloween. He uses that character all year round um, for his live streams. So so again, that is. 
that is basically what we're going to do with Skeletor. Uh, but then when it comes back around to Halloween, guys, again, he's going to be back in his Johnny Cash suit. <laughs> uh, so, um, all in black. Um, or, or in a black sweater and a hoodie. Um, So, so who knows? I may pick up a sailor's hat. I don't know. I may, I may go buy buy one of those. Uh, go to the dollar store and buy one of those sailor hats uh, to put on his head. So that that's a white sailor's hat with an anchor on it, make him kind of look army-ish. Uh, kind of make him look navyish, like he he's he's from the navy, or uh, you know, or army booting cap. Never know him. Um, so again, we got lots of cool plans for him. Uh, so we get, again, we can change him around big time uh, for every season. So, so the so again, it it gives it changes the appearance of the character. So, and uh, also, two guys. I again, if anybody's on here, and. Uh, these one special one night uh, shows with the Skeletor guy, dude. Who wants to see him in? My, who wants to see him in my Ghostbuster suit? Because I do have a Ghostbuster suit. Um, and that uh, I could dress him up in my Ghostbuster suit for for one of these nights uh, shows. Uh, please comment below if you want uh, want to see Skeletor dude dressed up in a Ghostbuster suit. <laughs> um, feel free to comment that below. And uh, I just don't have I me I just don't have a pro compact to wear on live here, but that is okay. Um, so so again, like I said, that, that is uh, so basically it is just going to be just 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 cause mask or whatever outfit uh, on here. So so again uh, so again just so that way you guys guys can get a little bit bit of a demo on how I'm going to change them around. Uh, change uh, how I change the dude around like a like a puppet. Um, again, he's almost like a live uh, uh, Skeletor Dick Tracy guy, dude. Uh, he's just like what you call a puppet, a uh, human puppet in a costume. So technically, he is. Uh, he's he's. I'm the puppeteer. I'm the puppeteer in the puppet costume. <laughs> just like you know. Um, so so again, like I said, that is. Uh, that is that is that that is that is that that is that is really, really cool. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff you got guys can do, and in the future, guys too. Also, uh, like I said, in the future, I am actually going to uh, work on buying supplies. Some all year round, uh, I may have to do a special order to order away for parts for uh, for costume parts and that kind of thing. And all year round, guys, I you know I can work with buying regular clothing from a thrift store, or whatever. Halloween time, sometimes check out the costume racks. Uh, what was it the other day? I think I, I I don't know if it's still there or not. It might be gone by now, but they had a silly hat there though. Um, I like a clown hat. I like a big, a big, 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 big bushy clown hat. Uh, that's that's that that's what I said. So again, I'm gonna be checking in there too. Um, probably because I get paid Wednesday, uh, Wednesday from work. So, uh, like I said, we'll be checking in there for like kind of kind of odds and ends for these live shows and that kind of stuff as well. Um, and uh, and that. So that's why once in a while I get down to karaoke and that kind of thing. I don't go all the time anymore. Is now because we've got these live shows going all the time. So, uh, like, 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 technically my live shows uh, start at ten thirty in the morning, and uh, so halfway between the day uh, we're rotating cameras. So I'm rotating from one camera to another camera. Uh, so there's some jokers on duty shows that I do not air on uh, what you call on internet. Um, and that, uh, so, so again, like I said, there is, uh, because it may go into a, a lot of, uh, what you call uh, karaoke and singing, because I do have my own karaoke machine as well. And, uh, so again, those Jokers on Duty shows we frame to just do a VHS tape, homemade VHS tape because of the music in the background, because a lot of music is copyrighted, uh, copyright music. Um, 
so basically it is uh, and we cannot air anything that is is any music that is containing copyright on the internet uh, we can for personal we can uh, put it on a blank tape for personal use family use but that is about it um, so again we're restricting on what and when I did not say we can't use music but they're just saying we're restricting on what kind of music we can use on here um, there is Facebook Live Gaming. I guess you can use. Uh, you have to. I think you have to apply and register for. Uh, that means your little video goes up in the box here, and uh, and down here where 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 you see me now is where the game where you you have the game feeds there. We play in the video game, and uh, up in the corner is in the little window is your your you you you're also talking on your stream as well. Um, which is kind of gives you icons. I don't even know why I got the, the icons I have uh, on my mobile phone. Uh, you can't get on the laptop for some reason. Um, or if you can, uh, some people say they can get them on their laptop computer, but I don't know where they're going, where they actually go to get those uh, little icons on their uh, live streams on their on their laptop. Or even is it even laptop yet? I mean, did they even make the way the laptop yet or not? Um, or is it just just kind of mobile devices and that kind of thing right now? Um, so we're gonna change uh, we're gonna change this little icon here. We're gonna see if this graphic one is gonna work today. Um, on that, so again, it is is one I like using all the time. Or maybe I use it too much. And I'm so happy. I am not not freezing today. Most times with my laptop computer, guys, I am freezing big time. Um, when it comes down, it comes down to my shows. Um, like I said, there is. I, I don't know where they got. Uh, careful, guys! This may scare you. And uh, find one we have not used in a while. No, we're not getting. No, oh, that's a thunderstorm one. Uh, we're not getting much for frames, but that is okay. Uh, Culture Club. And uh, again, there's a couple Culture Clubs there. Twisty pretzels. I could, did not find that roller coaster one that everybody ha has been getting. Um, I don't think I got that in on here because that was that looked like looked to be really cool, but I don't think I even got that one. Um, there is a lot of cool stuff here. You know, oh, Batman. You don't want Batman. Uh, that, this one here is good for Remembrance Day, guys. Since, because we're kind of in between, I'm going to put this one up. Uh, since we're kind of in between, uh, wait, call it Remembrance Day. Did, did that one even come through? No, it didn't come through. Um, uh, nope. It's not. It's not appearing on the screen. Um, it's a little like a little Air Force crest. I used to be in there because that's so it, it kind of fits. But uh, since we remember, stays going up. It is not showing up. So again, we're gonna, we're gonna take the 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 icon off. I'm gonna see if we get any of the Ghostbuster one here uh, because there's a couple couple Ghostbuster badges there. And no, it's not even showing either. Um, that is okay. I'm gonna look at the the dot on that one, and um, also, two guys. Uh, I'm on my live page. So again, uh, also, to if you guys check out uh, Halloween Jokers on Duty page. 
created a new page uh, where I can actually uh, I can actually have to download a lot of these videos. And I got a lot of huge videos I got to catch up on too, guys. Uh, that I have to kind of kind of get all all kind of updated. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, anyhow, just wanted to show you those. Uh, I think uh, they're, they're going to be set up somewhere too as well. Um, so again, we're going to have basically we're going to go into a big New Year's party. Uh, I'm still trying to find out. Uh, usually with Facebook itself, YouTube is starting to a bit, not as much. Twitch. I've never. I have not even figured out how to go live yet on Twitch. Um, I have a Twitch account. Uh, so basically, I was just using the Dashboard TV, but to, to have our little live parties on here, like 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 like, like we're used to doing, uh, with the CD player in the background. Uh, basically, we can't do that on Facebook uh, because Facebook will issue a copyright notice. Uh, so again, this is why we're just trying to find out uh, how how the other people do it um, and uh, what they actually do to avoid uh, from getting those notices uh, so or even if they're even getting them uh, so I'm just kind of kind of curious how they're actually uh, or how how actually they uh, what their secrets are that uh, how they how they go about going around it um, because I know I've seen a lot of live streams on here they're very good and uh, they have a lot. They they are playing. They are playing CDs in the background. I'm not talking about about, about the people that are licensed DJs. Now they're fine. Um, you know, or, or the professional musician bands. That is different. Um, but I, I'm just talking about the everyday people uh, that play their regular radio or CD player on here. Um, I'm just trying to find their uh, trying trying to find out uh, how they go about. Uh, Playing their favorite CDs on here without getting dinged by Facebook for copywriting, um, so so being accused of copy or uh, playing copyright material, or even being able to show movies. Now the odd time, guys, I have ha was able to do a live movie nights on here for you, but we immediately had to stop that because the fact that it, it that that yes that is uh, considered as copyright. Uh, but uh, again, there also too there is other live streamers though that I do see on here all the time. They're always and they're, 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 they're not network people, but they're always live streaming movies. So I'm just trying to find out how they go about how they how they went about being able to do that all the time without uh, being intercepted and that kind of thing. Because if if I can find out how they do it, then maybe there might be a way we'll be able to do it without getting. Uh, you know, getting uh, getting getting these notices. Um, so 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 again, or 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 losing or taking a chance of losing our live streams. Um, so so until I I I, I even told my friend Baza until I find out uh, how we we can get the authorization to do it uh, without being harassed. You can't play any copyrighted material on here, um, like video games or whatever. For now, um, until I can, until I can, until I can find out for sure how about you can go about doing it without getting, with, with without getting, you know, getting copyright notices from Facebook agents and that. Because there is times where they 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 do poke in and watch your live streams, and. Uh, that's why I said always be careful because they can they, they sneak in there without you knowing. And uh, they see anything they don't like, <laughs> they send you a notice, <laughs> uh, or they instantly block you, um, very quickly. Uh, so which is called Facebook jailing. Uh, so means ooh, how did I get over? Um, so 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 again it is it, it is with the live streams uh, you really have to really 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 be cautious around the usually government holiday weekends guys you won't be on or around christmas holidays you won't be on much uh or during the during the day mainly guys are on um 
that's the most cautious part of the of the times when they're on. But if it's like late at night, like twelve o'clock at night, you probably be able to slip a lot of the odd live stream in there with a couple of CD music or whatever without them noticing. Uh, but five days later, they catch up with you, <laughs> and uh, they they get you the next time you go live. Uh, so so again, that's uh, that's 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 what I said. That's why we're being so cautious. Um, So, so again, like I said, there is, uh, so again, this is what I got to figure out is uh, how, how, how these, uh, what these people's tricks are, uh, or what you have to do to be able, a, a, able to get around that kind of, uh, get, get around that. So, uh, because I don't, I personally, I personally think it is ridiculous uh, because I think that you know, you if you're live streaming in your own home, you should be, and, and you live your life an everyday lifestyle with video games. You live yourself a lifestyle of buying and playing a CD in the background. I think you should be able to personally without uh, any software. Uh, what you call company coming and hacking in and saying, "Oh, you can't play this on your live stream. You can't play that." Um, when like 99 billion hundred people on here do it all the time <laughs> so uh like i said it's you know it's uh, you know i mean i mean, I mean it, it shouldn't uh, it, it it should be it should be overlookable uh i mean like like uh, like i mean you're in your own home you you know you, you're using your live facebook stream and that 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 that, that kind of stuff and you know, if you want to throw a little party or whatever, make your live stream more interesting, or you know, you're singing on your own karaoke machine, or you're playing your CD player, or you do what you do every day, um, playing video games, or your normal young, young adult or youth age. Uh, again, I'm 38, but uh, you know, if you're sitting there playing video games or whatever, I mean, uh, I mean that is. That is should not. They should get not. They should not be getting too fanatical over the young generation, um, because there's something on there they do not like. Um, it's not their live stream. It's not their home. It's not their place to get on and say, "Oh, you can't. You you got to shut this off. You got to shut that off. Uh, this contain. This contains this. This person owns this. This person owns that." And then you find out it's some yin yang Yahoo. Uh, just lying to Facebook, saying they own stuff when they really don't. Uh, so, 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 so that way they can see you get all the copyright notices. <laughs> um, you know, so that way they can stir up a little bit of uh, trouble in the back cave, uh, if you want to put it that way. Um, because again, you got classic slashers of horror. They get on here all the time and they play horror movies. They showcase horror movies. Um, you know, but uh, that there is more of yes. I know that there can be more of a risk than anything, um, because because the fact that yes, I do understand that a lot of movies are uh, do do contain copyright, um, but you've got individual people like that that will get on here and they'll uh, they'll showcase movies, and then you got you had that uh, for a while you had that uh, that that uh, other thing of a thing a jig. Um, Calling himself Disney and uh, where he took all the Disney cartoons and he's he's got he's he's re renaming the char he all the characters he's rescripting the characters to Square Curse. Uh, he's got Koala Deville coming out telling everybody to look at you know what you know I like come on like these are kids cartoons I mean like people I mean these are kids cartoons that little my nine year old niece watch is loves watching ever since Disney start as since like Disney is a big thing to her. Uh, for little kids cartoons, I mean, like, I mean, like that is when I when I seen that uh, that, that the queen, queen queen of the ratchet guy, I dude, I'm like dying. Uh, when I started seeing him doing that with the Disney cartoons, I'm like, oh my god! I mean, like these these are cartoons little kids you kiddies watch. I mean, uh, your parents see this on Facebook or being post. You see a guy like that posting something like that on Facebook. 
Uh, as much, yes, they are funny, but uh, they're the second perverted. Um, you know, they're not suitable for kids to be watching, but it's it, it, but they're stealing the little kids' cartoons away from them, and they're, they're, they're manipulating the kids' cartoons uh, that, like, like my nine-year-old niece would watch, and making it, make, and, and literally, it's funny because they pedof- they're, they're, they're pedophiling the characters. Uh, or they got Cinderella coming out swearing, cursing, uh, you know, all the evil step, stepmother, oh man, I tell you. Some of the sexual talk that comes out of those Disney characters. Uh, even if he is, a, a, I have to get, I have to say, even if the guy, even if the guy used to work for Disney at one time, I don't know the guy's lifestyle background well, but even if he at one time for some reason worked for Disney and he got fired or whatever, what that may be the case, or he quit, uh, he has a grudge with uh, Disney. Like you don't do that to still, you don't do that to the kids' cartoons. Even if he's trying to get even with the company. Live stream. Um, so, uh, so again, it is, um, and, uh, so, so again, like I said, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is crazy. Again, I was drinking a cup of coffee. Um, somebody sent me, uh, we recommended me to see it. And, uh, and that's, that's, that, that, that's how I ended up seeing this, this guy. Um on here on on facebook and generally because i don't know who sent it to me somebody sent the recommendation to me uh that i know because they thought thought they got a kick out of this they're like hey it's disney they even wrote they said hey it's disney and uh, i watched it i and after i seen what he was doing to the kids cartoons i wrote wrote the back i said like fuck it's disney <laughs> it's just dirty disney <laughs> don't have a girl up the mind uh you know uh I mean, like I'm like like I was I was I was I was turning red in the face. I had to say something. I'm sorry, but I had to say something on YouTube about that because those are kids' cartoons, and they should have never ever been tampered with like that. Um, because I know Disney would never ever write material like that, or he changed all the songs around from Aladdin. To, well, the one he did for Down Under the Sea was not was the cleanest one he's ever done. Um. But uh, again, where he put your man was cheap or whatever. No, that was fine. Now that, that there, that that was the only one he did great uh, with the change change around. That uh, th- that actually was you know was actually interesting in watching, and there was not a single dirty word in that one or, or foul language or perverted talk in that one. But uh, with his other ones, but when it came to Aladdin or it came to uh, Prince Prince of Lee, uh, he put the he yeah, like he's uh, getting up there. And he's he's totally manipulated, <laughs> manipulated the uh, the Aladdin one, twisted that one around, and um, I mean like I, I mean like 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 I almost literally here actually almost wrapped my tra- trousers again after I seen the Aladdin one. Uh, yes, I can admit I bursted out laughing. Uh, I can admit that it was funny, but it really not too funny because of what he did to the kids' cartoon, especially that song. And it was being a kids' song, uh, like in the, that he's putting. Uh, he's putting. Uh, I'm not, I, again, I, I'm gonna, <laughs> not gonna repeat. Uh, let's say we're gonna put initials to CF with. He, he put he put don't, um, F and C F F, F and with me. Uh, you guys can fill in the blanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, for the the, the Prince of Lee song. Uh, so I mean that's that's what I said that that is that is it's just totally not Disney. Um, like everybody thinks it is, um, but yeah. So so again, again, that was at first. Yes, it was quite 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 funny, but I you know, you look at it. Um, I mean that is that is just I'm sorry, but that is just just degradable. Somebody can take a product. There's no not there's and actually. The, like there's nothing wrong. Uh, there's not illegal to to re- to actually take. I guess somebody was telling me um, if if you can if you change if you change it around 
It is not copyright, but uh, it depends on how you change it around. Uh, if it, it comes out to be perverted or dirty language, then yes, it can be illegal. Uh, but it, but if you keep it in a kind of kind of a clean way, you make it funny. But you know, it is uh, you may you, they may be okay with it. Uh, they may see the talent is there. That's why I said the guy. I'm not saying the guy is. I mean, I, I have nothing against the guy. Nothing like that. Because he may be South African nationality, or Jamaican nationality, but he has to understand that if he's gonna do use kids product, uh, kids cartoons products. Uh, or material it has to be it has to stay suitable for children to watch uh, because uh, children's cartoons is what gets kids attention uh, so 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 again uh, if he is if he is using kids cartoons on his live streams he cannot twist those around put perverted or foul language in those cartoons uh, that were never there before because he cannot over restrict those cartoons uh, because one, he did not publish those cartoons. He he is just a, he's just considered as being a rewriter. Um, but uh, but again, he cannot put legally. He is not allowed to put adult content to kids' cartoons. Um, apparently, according to the copyright laws, that is actually illegal. Um, especially if it is a kids' product that is uh, that is like a children's cartoon format. Has to stay at uh, a P at a G or PG level. Can't go any higher in a rating. Um, now, if he hadn't done that with the restricted rating of a horror movies, uh, like maybe Stephen King, Friday the Thirteenth, stuff like that, that's already been already for years restricted to little children. Uh, then that w and he put that on Facebook. Uh, that there would be probably different because it'll still stay as uh, as restriction to kids under eighteen years of age. Uh, because kids can't can't watch horror movies to begin with, he would have been a, he would have he would have do well um, if he was strictly all in the adult movie sector, stayed in the adult movie sector like horror movies, like Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm, or whatever, because that's already already in the movie of it already. Um, but to do it with the little kids' cartoons or, or anything that is published for children, uh, that is G family rating. For the entire family, uh, especially if it is stuff that is owned by Warner Brothers <laughs> Studio or Disney. Oh, like crap! My my cousin Tony, have you seen that? He'd probably be shitting his trousers <laughs> big time. Um, I mean, that is. I don't know if Dwayne Johnson ever seen that site yet. Uh, I don't know if he ever The Rock, if he ever got a chance around to check it out. The, the queen of the ratchet <laughs> uh, hey rock buddy you just go in and you go and uh, check out this south african guy he calls himself the queen of, of uh, he calls himself queen of the ratchet and you can look up these old your disney cartoon movies and uh <laughs> and you'll see what he's doing to them and <laughs> he coming out with uh just to, to check it out fish bite uh that's that that's what i said but uh, it's up to you if you choose to follow him or not. But I just tell you, you're gonna be disgusted at what you see. You may, yes, it might be funny, yes, but uh, you may actually be disgusted at what you're seeing, what he's doing, and degrading his cartoons. Um, I mean, it, it, he is really the guy is really really bad. Um, so like I said, it's uh, oh man, I tell you, um. <coughs> Uh, some of the stuff this guy comes out with, I'll tell you, it's, uh, <coughs> but I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, like, they, like, like my dad for the first half of a while, uh, he never got into the, like, 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 like the remake of the cartoons for the kids to put their individual names in it. He didn't want to, he just did just, just storybooks. But he was restricted uh, by by the Disney company with the actual storybooks that he he used to do up uh, that uh, what he was allowed to do and what he was not allowed to do. Uh, and they even said that if it is a children's product like that, they're not allowed to put any adult content in it whatsoever or anything that's going to be restricted to children. Um, 
it's got to stay it is it, it is legal property of little children so it's got to stay uh stay as children's entertainment it cannot change uh you can't change it you can't take uh, children's entertainment and turning it into like all, all of some turn into adult content entertainment um like that uh that that can actually be a chargeable offense um but uh like i said that is but uh I mean, like, that's that's what I said. That sounds, but I mean, that that's. And then the guy has a nerve to sit there and call himself Disney, and he owns Disney. <laughs> like I said, like how oh, buddy you own Disney. Um, but uh, but uh, no, like 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 I said, it's uh, and not and and the first founders of Disney. Yes, now Disney probably does have the mixed nationalities, but the original founders, guys of Disney. Uh, if you actually read your history, uh, if you go back to the time when Walter Disney first was the founder and started up Disney, uh, Disney was actually came from Newfoundland. Uh, they were actually Newfoundlanders, and uh, they came, they they came, they originally descended from uh, before they went on the air and that, that that kind of thing. The idea they were all they they were all doofies <laughs> from Disneyland. Uh, well, they went. From Disneyland, yeah, they were from New, from the East Coast, from Newfoundland. Uh, so, uh, so again, the majority of the first founding uh, Disney uh, Corporation, uh, when it first became a company before it started building, my grandfather used to tell me when I was a kid when he, when it was first founded, uh, when it first went on the air, uh, and that uh, way before I was born, and, and it, they 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 started coming out with all the makings of the Disney cartoons, all the TV shows like Mary Poppins and everything else like that. Uh, it was all it was all it, it all, the, the 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 Disney pro, Disneyland project itself originally came from Newfoundland. Um, stuff because the very first I let you guys know the very first Disney movie that ever aired uh, after the Disney cartoons. The very first one was the original Peach Dragon. And uh, and that kind of thing was the very first Disney movie, and then came Mary Poppins. So again, <laughs> that's what I said. Uh, it was uh, which was originally uh, Peace Dragon was done in Newfoundland on the East Coast. So that was where the movement, uh, the Disneyland movement, uh, originally started from was Newfoundland. Um, so so again, and then when in, when Mickey Mouse, and then also too uh, before that. Uh, the very first original, uh, Mickey Mouse, Mickey, Mickey and Minnie were Chinese Japanese descent. So, uh, so again, the actual original actors of uh, that the very first. Now, then again, there's been over time over the years there had I guess there's uh, has been different actors that played Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, but uh, Mickey Mouse and the very first original mascots to Mickey and Mi Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse were Chinese, originally Japanese descent. Uh, were 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 what you call uh, were, were were what you call or what you call they call immigration descent. So of Chinese and uh, was but more of a, the for the original actors, uh, the the idea of the because the very first original actors that introduced us. To Mickey and Minnie, uh, was 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 Japanese Chinese. So, uh, which Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse originally came from China. So, um, a lot of people don't know that that was original. The, 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 the according to the history of that, uh, but then over the years, guys, uh, as as years went by and that kind of thing. Uh, every generation of Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, that ever actors that ever took interest in playing Mickey and Minnie. Over time, there would have been different culture people that ever played every, everything from every nationality, Spanish, to whatever. Um, just like now, you've got that new movie, Coco, uh, which is which is Mexican-Spanish descent. Man. So again, um, so again, that is uh, which is uh, which is actually is actually has actually brought to us by by Disney and by Mexico by Mexico by Mexico. Um, so and uh, and uh, Dominion uh, or Puerto Rico, uh, wherever wherever the Spanish countries are. So so between Puerto Rico and uh, and uh, Mexico Mexico Mexico, uh, 
so it is kind of uh, again in Spanish. Also, too, if you also got also too looking at and, and that is Coco, the new movie Coco. Even if you look at the history of um, uh, of uh, example. Uh, Noah Hathaway's uh, 1984 Never Ending Story um, when he was 12 and that's 1984 uh, he was uh, he played the part of the character of a native uh, warrior uh, American native warrior and uh, character in the story in the Never Ending Story and I uh, went on this quest and that kind of thing and he flew around with his left dragon and then he had there was Bastion um, it, it was mixed between um uh, what you call a different uh, if you look at the Fantasia part, uh, which is fantastic car or van or what what is it? I can't pronounce it, but it's a town, it's a city in Germany where Fantasia was filmed in. Um, uh, again, it, it had a different name. It wasn't called Fantasia. It was called it was some other other name. Um, Bastion stands for ba uh, Bastier. Uh, Bastur, Bast, Bastur, I can't, uh, Bastiator, I can't pronounce it that well, my mom would have been able to if she hadn't been still alive, but it is a French word, um, so, so again, came from Paris, France, so again, you see, again, you see the different nationality in there, uh, it, it, it had a little bit of everything, uh, I had a little bit of, uh, the, uh, again, it, it, it kind of spoke, it kind of, uh, kind of, uh, was kind of uh, one of those. Uh, if you wa even watch the biography of ODD TV, uh, they they explain everything to you on how that was made uh, and that kind of, kind of thing in the biography. And they did say in the biography that it was it, it was mixed between different religious cultures. Uh, like you had your interculture, you had your you had your old cult, uh, which was uh, which was which represent Christianity, the old cult. Uh, the, for the occultist, uh, Christianity, Freemason, uh, Buddhism. Um, so, so again, it was all those different religious cultures put together. Uh, and and the, the, the double oil boy, which is the two Egyptian snakes. Uh, again, if you look at uh, now, if you look at the uh, uh, the, the the Hathaway family uh that that uh was uh like Don Hathaway's family is german and spanish descent so um so so again so again like so again there you see the you see the you so again which is which is warner brothers uh, own product again which is disney um so again <coughs> it is oh sorry i'm kicking all my stuff over so, so again, it is uh, it, it is it is quite interesting to see to, to to see all the nationalities over the years that have kind of built up that industry, and uh, that's what I see when I seen this other guy kind of hey, don't start this today. No, um, he's playing with everything. Um, so, so again, sorry about that, guys. And uh, so, so basically, you've seen over time, you've seen the, you've seen it, uh, it, it, it all kind of, kind of grow in our, in our, in our world today, in our, in our, in our entertainment communities, um, and that. So again, they, they, they come from all over, and that, 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 that kind of stuff. So, I mean, like I said, that was I enjoyed it. No, I didn't care what the backgrounding or the history of it was. I just sat back and. Uh, you know, sit back and watching it. Uh, you know, I thought it was cool. And then you have Pan's Labyrinth, uh, which is also a Disney product uh, movie. Um, I don't think, maybe it, is it Disney or not? I don't think so. I, I want, if it's Warner Brothers, yes, it is Disney. Uh, published. But again, it is not in English. It is all in Spanish because they're all Spanish actors. And uh, so again, you see the Spanish descent. So, so again, over the years, it is, it is, it is, it, it, it is growing to to a big, uh, what you call very strong entertainment. Uh, that and for something like that, for that's what I said. I I, I said I was so, uh, what you call embarrassed to see uh, somebody actually have have the nerve. Uh, you know, to go and actually, you know, this queen of rat of the ratchet guy go and do something that to these kids cartoons. Uh, you know, um, especially all the hard work uh, that people like my grandfather, uh, you know, used to pay taxes into all the time. 
because uh, again he was again he was one of the head, he was a World War One and Two veteran and he was also he survived the both wars and he was also a Freemason he was head of the Freemasons and the Freemasons guys are the guys that paid and filmed direct ninety percent of the your movies that entertain you. Um, you know, or, or or same again back to the Neverending Story. It was it was a British co a camera crew uh, that actually filmed it. So which started in Calgary, Canada, Alberta, and went to went 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 through France and into Germany. So uh, so that's this is what I said. It is um, so so again all like like somebody else's hard time and work. Uh, for for this queen the queen of the ratchet guy to turn around and tamper with everything and you know you know ruin it especially when they know it is kids it is it is a kid's product it's just sick um <laughs> I was, uh, my grandfather now he now he's passed on for years he'd be spitting in his grave he's <laughs> he was alive he's still alive to see that uh I think he'd have something. I think he would definitely have something to say on that one. Um, but, uh, but again, like I said, it, it is, it is, uh, <laughs> it's sick. I'll tell you. Um, me personally, I my theory was if he was going to showcase, if he wanted to showcase, or if he does have permits to showcase Disney movies, uh, he should be showcasing the the Disney movies as they were originally written and published, and not not uh, should have been should not have been allowed to ever change them or tamper with them. If he can't, if he can't, if he's going to be a rewriter of everything, and he has to make sure, and he is getting the permission to rewrite stuff, uh, not to abuse it. Uh, especially with a children's product, he should at least make sure he, he to, if he's going to rewrite something like that, make sure to keep the, the the content of it clean and children appropriate it. Uh, children, uh, what you call children, uh, leave it as uh, you know, so so it's appropriate for children to watch. Um, because right now the queen, the queen of of the ratchet, what he's doing with the with the kids Disney cartoons is not now now all of a sudden the, the parents are, are are saying no these cartoons are no longer uh, what you call appropriate for my kids to be watching um, because he has pushed he has pushed a lot of Disney sales down for, by doing that uh, and just disgrading an industry uh, somebody else's hard work. And everything else like that, that they spent years of and lots of tax dollars or industries to support uh, for us to to have that kind of to provide that kind of entertainment for our kids. I mean, so <laughs> I mean, that is a uh, sack. I tell you, um, but but I do know I I do know of the uh, the original actors that play Quella Deville or you know any of those characters they would never ever write scripts or talk like that, um, and that so I mean like if he was gonna that's why I said if he was gonna showcase them like showcase them properly or don't showcase them at all, um, showcase them the way they are or fine when the, the way they were published or written. Don't change anything. Uh, if you can't, if you can't keep his mouth clean, don't change anything. Um, don't touch it. Don't tamper with it. Just if you wanted to showcase it, uh, just showcase it as a regular movie with the regular songs the way they were written, and just leave it at that. Um, so, because there is kids on Facebook, so they can't watch it. Uh, I mean. Uh, because the kids who the kids who go on their Facebook accounts and then like and they see some, something like that they come across like something they like, they play hey Disney <laughs> they open it up it's not <laughs> it's Disney but with, but it's it's Disney with dirty foul language um, sexual perverted talk um, and then their parent their, their parents actually have to pull them away from the computer <laughs> and then the kids take it fit because they can't watch the Disney cartoons because uh, they're not appropriate. Um, this is what I mean. It is, <clears throat> and then you got the kids tearing up a storm, or crying, or, or you know, you know, tears falling from their eyes uh, because the cartoons were just ruined. 
Um, this is what I said. This is this is this generation of people, guys. Are, I have to say, is getting very, very bad. Um, but uh, that's why I said I, again. A moment when I seen that, I stopped following the guy immediately because it was just disgusted me. Um, so I followed the. So I went and followed the, like the actual Warner Brothers people and the actual real Warner Brothers network, the real just Disney network. Uh, that way, you know that uh, that they're putting a clean show uh, and that kind of stuff. Um, a little less embarrassing. Um, but uh, yeah, so so again, uh, so that there there's a little bit of your history, guys. Um, but. Uh, <coughs> But yeah, so <coughs> excuse me. And uh but yeah, so so again I just wanted to do a quick quick check in and uh, I hope everybody has a great day. And uh happy Thanksgiving Monday and uh, we'll be, be probably be, be be back tonight with the skeletor character and uh Skeletor slash Johnny Cash, uh, uh, W, yeah, WWE, uh, I'm in that blue, Skeletor, with a little bit of heme in it. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. This is your joke, it's dude. Have a great day, guys. Um...